learners, welcome back to Exfoli, excited for learning. Today, we are going to do the project Sophia in Maze Land. So, let's get started. So, these are the specific tasks to complete and this is my project. So, I'll just zoom in first so that you can see what is it. Now, suppose, I'm sorry, uh, reset run, yeah. Suppose, if my if my the pink color sprite is Sophia and the yellow color sprite is the cup okay if my Sophia touches any of the wall then it will go back okay and once it reaches once I'll just show you what will happen once Sophia reaches the cup so I'm just on the way yes now I'm touching so I'm holding it if I leave it you win goes but like this see you can see that the white text shows you win this is my project now I'm going to zoom out to see the code property yeah so this is my code now you can see that I have created variables we need 22 cardboard pieces cardboard pieces as in these walls right you can see the gray color ones those are called the cardboard pieces so those are the obstacles for uh, and this now those are the ones which can stop Sophia from reaching the cup it's the obstacles okay now let's just quickly read specific task to complete set background to color of your choice so I preferred sky blue so yeah it, it can be your choice create 22 pieces and design your own maze so 22 cardboard pieces only 22 cardboard pieces and design your own maze like you can keep them in any way you want it's not like it should be like this you can keep the abstract obstacles any way you want like one is right here one is right here like that um or it's your wish whatever you think is going to be hard but you need 22 cardboard pieces not less not more okay so that's the reason i've created 22 so cardboard one cardboard two cardboard three till 22 right and i've created a sophia and a cup cup um, as in the trophy or something like this shows that you have achieved this specific task okay now next um create the edges so that sophia doesn't go out of the canvas you have to create edges now see um i'll just show you now suppose if i it's not going i'm pressing the left arrow but still it's not going outside just bouncing back that is what <coughs> Next, create a sprite for Sophia and place it in the starting point of the maze. Starting point can be any corner of the maze. Now, I have selected the top right corner, top left corner, sorry. So, you can choose bottom left, right corner or top, bottom, uh, like the left, bottom left corner, anything you wish for. Top, right corner. Now, I'm choosing this. It's your wish. Next. Um, create a sprite for cup as a target and place it in the end point of the maze. Place the cup and target at each at the co other corner of the maze. Now, suppose if you are keeping your Sophia here, then your cup should be right here. If you are keeping your Sophia here, then the cup should be right there. Opposite. Okay. So, my Sophia is here. So, the cup is right here. Next. <coughs> Next. Create. Um, yeah. Add key, press event to move Sophia between the cardboard pieces. If no key is pressed, Sophia velocity should be set zero. Else she will move continuously. Yeah. Now if you don't have velocity X and Y like zero, suppose I have given it right here. As you can see. Mm, one second, I'll just show you. So Sophia dot set velocity zero zero. Okay. So you can keep either like this also. Like Sophia dot velocity x equals to zero, and the same thing. Control C. I'll just copy it and paste it because we have to write all over again. And this is y zero. Okay. Now it's the same thing. You can keep set velocity or like now I'm left it. Now I'm pressing it so it's moving. Now I left it, it's not moving. If you don't have this, I'll just comment it and you'll know what what does the specific task mean. Now it's it's going okay, I'll just show you. 
now I'm j I left it till it's moving now see now yeah see it's moving still both my hands are left. that's the reason we need this otherwise it, she will move continuously that's the reason you need this next set velocity you can use or you can use veloc dot velocity x sophia dot velocity x or sophia dot velocity y next when sophia collides the cup detect the collision and display that she has reached her destination display you win in the middle of the screen good so that's it i showed you right you can see that you win is there so if i keep it in the middle the uh, the cardboard pieces cover the u win text that's the reason i have kept the u win in a space where nothing is blocking it so that you can see clearly okay no. okay that's it that's a specific task and let's get into the coding now as you can see that i have created variables for sophia cardboard from 1 to 22 so we need 22 cardboards that's the reason i have named cardboard 1 cardboard 2 cardboard 3 and so on and we need sophia and a cup or a target okay so whenever um, our sophia okay it's moving continuously so i should reset and run yeah now it won't correct now next that we have to create sophia sprite so sophia equal to create sprite i wanted it its position at 28 and 24 you can choose um, like it's your wish 28 24 or if you want bottom corner like here then it will be 378 and 386 it's your wish okay this is a measurement and then sophia dot shape color pink i decided the sophia should be pink as you can see that they said that yeah like um you need it said orange can be created they said so but i like pink with blue it kind of contrast so that's the reason i did it like that and usually trophies are yellow or gold color that's the reason i have kept it gold yeah actually i have to make it a little more neat i'm not such a good organizer yeah now it's perfect now we have to create sprites cardboard one equal to create sprite cardboard two equal to create sprite those measurements are of your wish so i don't really have to discuss these because it really depends from person to person okay so you can uh, keep it any way you want but the main thing is that the sophia should reach the cup it should reach but it should be hard if it's like totally blocked then it's of no use there's no point of playing because anyway we won't reach it right so that's the reason you have to make sophia reach it there should be a possibility that doesn't mean that it should be very simple like it should be hard enough but it should have a possibility to reach the cup okay so 22 cardboards i have just um, made ran uh, like not random but i have selected it this way it's your wish next cup equals to create sprite so i wanted to i wanted the cup to be in the bottom bottom right corner so it's it's opposite of sophia right so that was the measurement 390 376 20 100 i wanted to the cup to be thin but long but they actually said that um yeah so it's of your wish okay 20 100 i decided it to be okay so this is that is the cup and i also shaped the uh, cup like shape color that means i colored the cup as gold because usually all trophies are gold right yeah it depends but i like gold trophies that's the reason okay next function drop now we have created the cardboard pieces we have placed them we have created the sophia and the cup now let's go into function draw now you have to set the background sky blue okay not have to but it's of your wish i cho i chose sky blue next i told you why we need the sophia dot velocity x and sophia dot velocity y right if you don't have this the sophia will be continuously moving okay even though you leave the key it will keep moving so we want we don't want that and they already said that you shouldn't have that you should keep that sophia velocity zero 
x and y velocity should be 0. So we have to do that because they asked us to do. Next, if Sophia bounds cup text size 30, that means if Sophia touches the cup or collides the cup or like bounces off the cup, then you can use any of the option that you want, like collide or is touching or um, bounce. Like um, it really means that it should touch. Whenever it touches, then this should be seen. Text size 30, text font Arial, fill white, that means I want white color, text, and the text should be U win. So the text size should be 30, the font should be Arial, and um, the color of the text should be white, and the text, the real text should be U win. Okay, and you can find these in drawings. Yeah, so fill background also you can find. And then you, you see the text. This is the option for text, text font, text size. These are the options that you can find in drawing. Okay. So, and what these numbers are for the placement of the text. Now, if you want it right in the left side or the right side or the top or the bottom, it's your wish. But um, this is the middle of the screen. But if I keep it in the middle, the obstacles, obstacles are covering the text. That's the reason I kept it over there. <clears throat> now, if you want it, um, like it should be displayed, that's it. Now, next, if key down, down arrow. Now, if you press the down arrow, what should happen? The Sophia velocity x should be 0, but Sophia velocity y should be positive 5 or 5. Plus 5 or 5 doesn't, uh, doesn't make a difference. Plus 5 and 5 means the same. So, I told you that if positive number of velocity y that means that it will go down if negative number of velocity y then it will go up and this 5 means the speed okay now if you keep positive 6 then it will go e a little faster if you keep positive 10 then it will go really fast and if you keep minus 10 it will go upwards if you keep plus 10 then it will go downwards okay that's just uh, and you don't want um, like whenever you want, uh, you press a down arrow, you don't want it to like move from right to left, right? So that's the reason the x velocity should be 0. If you don't have this also, it doesn't really make a difference because it will automatically take as velocity x equal to 0, okay? Now, these are of up arrow, it should be minus 5, I told you. Velocity y should be minus 5 or minus 10 or whatever you wish for the speed, but it should be minus 5 left arrow the velocity y should be zero but x should be minus five x means like here like um horizontally and y is related to vertically thing so now left arrow right arrow is horizontal right so now you need it like that now um so um left i i don't think it doesn't make a difference if you add these or don't add them, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. Even though you add them or add the inverted comma or no. Okay. So you can have them or not. You can just remove them also if you wish. For. Okay. Next. Uh, we know that if positive number x means that it will go right side. Uh, negative number x means left side. Negative number Negative number y velocity, that means it will go up and positive number y means it will go down, okay? Next is if Sophia is touching cardboard 1, cardboard 2, cardboard 3, cardboard 4, till cardboard 22, then what should happen? This is the if condition that you will find in the control. So you need to drag this and drop it, but now we don't need it because I have already used it. Now, if Sophia is touching any of the cardboards, then Sophia should go back to its position. And I have defined its position at first that it should be 28, 24. So it should go back to its position, which is X position 28 and Y position 24. Okay, so if Sophia touches any of the cardboard, it should go back to its position where it started. And it shouldn't move. Next. Now, um, 
last few things sophia dot collide cup and means sophia should collide with the cup create edge sprites and means we have to create virtual boundaries that we cannot see but we have to create them they said that the um, sophia should not go out of the canvas right so that's the reason create edge sprites we need uh, and then we'll uh, and then next sophia dot bounce off edges now sophia should bounce off the edges if you create edge sprite edge sprites it doesn't mean that it should bounce off it means that you have created them we never said that it should bounce off now i've um, commented the sophia dot bounce off that means the computer won't read it it's just for the humans to understand now see it's going out doesn't really matter but now once you keep this then it will bounce off okay now if you don't have created sprites then what will happen let's see so there's no meaning for this what are the edges we have never created the edges then how can it bounce off that doesn't really have a meaning so that's the reason we need this okay and remember the bounce off edges should be always below the create edge sprites if you keep it above it won't create edge sprites understand now lastly draw sprites draw sprites means all the sprites that we have created should be drawn okay so this was a pro this was the project um sophia in maze land and this was not easy not hard it was pretty good so this needs a lot of creativity so that you can make the cardboard pieces and this use we can do anything we want in this so it is really good project and if you like this video please like share and subscribe don't forget to ring the notification bell and one more thing if you have any doubts or questions regarding any of the projects then you can always comment them okay thank you